So up at the top of this valley that I'm walking in, there is a large lake called Seneca. That's part of the Finger Lakes. East of there, and by the way, that's about 10 miles away, maybe 15. East of there is Cayuga Lake. The Cayuga Lake at the southern tip is the community of Ithaca. That's my destination today. As you can see at the moment, I'm sipping coffee. Here along what I believe is Tioga Creek or the Tioga River. In this lovely campground. That's yeah, so it's raining a bit, but as long as I'm not on the bike, my hands are just fine. And hang out here this morning for a bit longer, hence the video. Normally by now I'd be preparing to hop on the bike. It's closing in on 8 o'clock. But I've decided to delay based on the report from the Weatherbug the app I tend to use. It's the first time I've opened the app on the bicycle tour, by the way. And why would I open it only now? Well, because part of what I enjoy about a journey is the unknown and checking the weather constantly to see what's coming, that would fly in the face of that. So I tend to just let it come and prepare, sorry, and deal with it when it gets there. Of course, I'm carrying what I need after many journeys on a bicycle. I think I have what I need, hopefully not what I don't need. Rain gear included, such as my rough cut, Smurf pants, a pair of blue rain pants that I've cut off above the knees, super cheap, that I bought in a Walmart. I pull those up to keep my, my lower body dry and mostly comfortable. Feet get soaked. Hands are in rubber gloves with liners bought from a hardware store. It's the best solution that I've come up with so far for keeping my hands. Not necessarily comfortable, but from going into a state of harm, super cold and wet and ultimately dangerous. Sometimes we have to persist through discomfort and then we accomplish something that we'll be proud of. In fact, the best things in life are those things that we work the hardest to accomplish, I think. So there's the thunder, and the lightning is, of course, not so far away. Maybe I'll play a little mini golf this morning. If you want to join me, head over to Hornby, New York, in Corning. And look at this other side. Look at the, we've still got some low-lying clouds, some ground fog from overnight. So that's the story extended here from Corning, New York, on connecting my grandfathers. I'm over 2,000 miles into the tour by now, rode into New York yesterday. And I'm, I'm really enjoying the morning <laughs> and about a half a gallon of coffee. Thanks for following along. I'll be back on my bike probably by 10 a.m. and hopefully in Ithaca, New York by 3 o'clock. Ciao, folks.